Hello dear learners, how are you? I hope you all are safe and fine at your places. And I truly believe that the learning process is going on amazing. So let's begin with the session and today we'll be going on to learn the various things that definitely helps you understand what is cardiovascular endurance, what is cardiovascular fitness. So welcome to the physical education class. very important to have all these three components. So what is healthy lifestyle? Uh, lifestyle is what is a way to live a life. The way, way of living. The way of living life is called healthy lifestyle. Got it? So this is about these three concepts that is the physical fitness. It is the ability of our body to do more work even after extensive workout. Wellness, wellness is the balance of mind and body, relaxation, mental relaxation. Third thing is healthy lifestyle, it means it's a way to live a life. Let's move on and now we are going to learn about this physical fitness. What are the components of physical fitness and 
how to build and what are the importance. So let's get up the physical fitness, right? That's right here. So before we going to start this topic, we must know what is physical fitness and what are its types. Physical fitness. So when I'm talking about physical fitness, first thing is strength. What is the first thing? Now the point came, what is the strength? So strength is the ability of our muscles to overcome resistance. What is strength? It is the ability of our body muscles to overcome resistance. Right? So the ability of our muscles to overcome resistance is called strength. Strength sometimes you're pushing the ball, you are uh, showing some movement, if you are uh, you know, uh, putting force something while your body is in static or while your body is in motion. So it may be isotonic, it may be isometric. Right? So what is exactly strength? It's the ability of your muscles to overcome resistance. Next up is endurance. A very important topic. And this endurance, the whole topic is based on it, right? What is endurance? Endurance is the basically belongs to the long term activity. And whenever I am talking about endurance, so endurance is something which is the ability to overcome fatigue. It means whenever you do a long term activity, so definitely there is a deposition of fatigue in your muscles and the bloodstream, and you feel a lethargic, you feel restlessness, okay, and there will be a lot of problem so basically what endurance is endurance is the ability of our muscles or endurance is the ability to overcome fatigue what exactly endurance is endurance is the ability it is the ability of our muscles to overcome fatigue Next one, so endurance, I hope you all have cleared what is endurance, what is strength. Next thing is speed. So speed is also a component of physical fitness. What is speed? Speed means to perform a ability, to perform movement.
refraction and diffusion. So to do work with refraction and efficiency. Right? So I hope you must have cleared about uh, this that is the different this five things that is the strength, endurance, flexibility, speed. But basically why I taught you this topic because it's very very important topic in terms of your uh, board examination and uh, it is very very important to know when you know you are concerning basically for uh, learning this rock pot walking test or a step Howard test. So these are two tests step Howard and rock pot walking test uh, which help you guys to know exactly what is cardiovascular endurance and it will definitely help you to understand what does it mean exactly and how to build up and how to measure the cardiorespiratory uh, and the cardiovascular endurance. Got it everyone? So let's start learning the rock pot walking test. So basically when we start the rock pot walking test, what we need to do? We need to think upon so many parameters, right? And what are these parameters? First we need to know what is the name of the name. So rock pot walking test is also called one mile test. What we call it? Rock pot walking test is also called a one mile test. Because the data that covered is one mile. Now the question comes in mind, what does it mean by one mean? So one mean is equal to one six zero nine. One mean is equal to one six zero nine. Right? So proper walking test is also called one mean test or one six zero nine meter. It is developed by psychologist, physiologist as well as cardiologist. Right? So who developed it? was developed by physiologists so that the physiology of the body you know they know properly and cardiologists because we are going to measure the cardiorespiratory endurance it means today we are going to learn about how to measure the maximum amount maximum volume of oxygen intake right so developed, developed by physiologists and developed by cardiologists it's the name is Lee Fortan and this was done in 19 so when it was, I might, might be an examination, you may be asked by CBSC that when they, the Zockford walking test came into existence. So it was, it, the initiative was in 1987. When it come, it came in 1987. <coughs> Got it everyone? Next thing it is, what does it measure? So it basically measures the cardiorespiratory endurance. What does it measure? It measures the cardiorespiratory endurance. Keep this thing in mind, very important for MCQ purpose. Right? So, CBS and MCQ might be asked this. So, this awkward problem is cardiorespiratory injuries. Got it? Next thing, uh, the one mind test, it's given here. It may be just as a help by physiologist as well as the cardiologist. Killing or background, and they gave this test, and it was uh, given in. 1987. When it was in existence, it was taken in 1987. As I told you, this test, the rock test, is mainly for the cardiovascular endurance. What does it for? It is for cardiovascular endurance, and this test is mainly for the individual who has a low fitness level, right? So those who have a low fitness level, so let's calculate their maximum, uh, you know, the how much oxygen they can consume, the volume of maximum oxygen, right? So here with this we can measure the amount of carbon that is oxygen consumed by an people, right? The O2. To evaluate uh, this test is also to evaluate the aerobic fitness, right? So it may ask in a different form if you want. If someone is asking you why did you go for this proper walking test? So it is a one mile test. It is measuring the cardiorespiratory endurance. It is measuring or evaluating the aerobic fitness. Now what is aerobic fitness? There are two terms, aerobic and anaerobic. If you are a bio student, you must know it about. Aerobic it means presence of oxygen. So whenever you perform an activity in the presence of oxygen, that is aerobic. Whenever you perform a different kind of activity, which is in the absence of oxygen, right? 
when you are running fast it was enough when you are running slow but for a longer period of time it becomes enough and it is rightly said that you have to uh, go for one mile so definitely it will be required a lot of oxygen and so it will be a slow activity it's a long term slow activity so it will measure or it will evaluate your aerobic fitness so <coughs> Basically, what is measure? It will measure the VO2 max. What does it measure? It will measure the VO2, that is the volume of oxygen in here, right? So, what does it measure? It will measure the VO2. Now, let's come on. See, this test is very good to measure the rest, cardiorespiratory fitness, right? This test is so good to measure the cardiorespiratory fitness. Next thing, if we go and if we talk about, so that's the the objective of this test is to monitor the development of an athlete or uh, athlete's maximum cardiorespiratory ability. What we will measure? With this test exactly we want to know that what is the exact cardiorespiratory ability of an individualist. It means how much oxygen they are using during the oxygen. If uh, they have some lacking in that or if they have some problem. So we can work accordingly in research. It's also helpful so, uh, to us. So basically, this Rockford walking test, which is also called a cardiovascular, which is also measure the cardiovascular fitness, is also measure the aerobic fitness. It is also called a one mile test. So uh, this test is very good to measure the cardiorespiratory fitness of an individual. Thus, we can say the objective of this test, right? is to monitor and develop the athlete's maximum cardiorespiratory ability. What does it reflect or what does it may enhance? It helps to enhance the what? Maximum cardiorespiratory ability. What will it measure? Again, I'm saying you, it will measure the maximum cardiorespiratory ability. Got everyone? So, here we also able to know that what is the use, uh, the how much oxygen they use during that particular activity. Got it? So, uh, what is the purpose? So, as we all know, the purpose of this activity is to measure the cardiorespiratory ability of an individual. Received and understood everyone? Okay? So, if we talk another thing that is the awkward walking or awkward fitness walking test. What is it? It is Rockford Fitness Walking Test and this Rockford Fitness Walking Test or Rockford One Mile Test was developed by uh, the excise physiologist and cardiologist and the name are Kiline, Porcarine, right? And it was done in 1987. And I think that was the time when they were working in the Department of Excise Science at the University Masakao at and so. It is mainly for the individuals who have a low capacity and such of the people who are having a low, you know, living a sanitary lifestyle, unhealthy lifestyle. Okay, so what does it measure? It will measure the maximum volume of oxygen during exercise. Right, so the equipment, if we talk about the equipment required for this test, including 400 meter well leveled track. So, what is the first need of ours is we need a well leveled. 400 meter track. What do we need? We needed a well leveled 400 meter track. Then we need a stopwatch, a weighing scale, a heart rate monitor may also be used in that necessary, right? So these things are very, very important. Assistant and helper is also required if you are making something or which is, you know is there and it is very important to measure that so it is very important to have a system so there are three things three requirement of this test first is running track which is maybe a 200 meter or 400 meter second is a stopwatch and third one is an assistant what is the third one third one is the assistant now i'm going to tell you how to administration how to do the administration or what is the procedure of the test so we need to choose a windless day to conduct this test. We need to record the weight in pounds. Okay, IBL. What do you? How to calculate or how to measure the weight? We have to measure the weight in pounds. 
then walk or, walk or run on a mile that is if you want to go for one mile so we need to go for 106 1609 meter as fast as possible we'll record the time after completing one time one mile and immediately when this test is finished walk record measure the heartbeats beats per minute right so uh, determine your maximum cardiorespiratory and the calculation i'll be telling you how to do that calculation okay so let's come and understand it properly so we have started with one mile test right so after talking test which is also called cardio respiratory endurance it is also called one mile test it measures the aortic thickness it is developed by the psychophysiologist as well as the cardiologist because basically it is a matter of that uh, related with the heart right it was then taken to break up in 1987 so keep knowing this names in mind you may ask you and this weight is measured in this so it is in pound so it will uh, generally for the planetary lifestyle people so all of it is level people it will evaluate the aerobic so what does it evaluate? it evaluate the aerobic fitness and it will measure the maximum amount of oxygen volume of maximum amount of oxygen required in the body now what are the three equipments required it may be a 200 meter or a 200 meter well level trek the stopwatch is needed and the helper is required however is the helper Now let's see the procedure how to convert this test and what to do for the upper and what we can keep in mind with this. First, this is the test should be conducted on the non radiator. It means see air is also weight or resistance. So we need to think about a day which is of what? The day which is non radiator. It means there should not be a lot of air which is coming to the bit the moving of the moving air is for bit, right? So We need to think about it that we need not to take a day which is windy. We need to take a non-windy day before the walk start, right? So as you all know, this is a one uh, one mile uh, walk or run. So as the walk start, so before starting on this walk, we need to take a weight, right? And these weight should be pounds, I B S, short pounds. So what we write the pounds. In short, we write IBS. We are like, right? So, first thing is to, uh, you know, the day should be on ready. Second thing, before walk, the weight of the individual should be measured. This weight should be measured in pounds, like the IBS. The starting point is measured, the individual has to run or cover the distance that is of one mile. So, now what will happen when the command uh, gives go, the individual will have to start running. So as and when they cover this one mile, they will be you know, allowed to do the next task that is we they can definitely go for that. So uh, now the point comes that one mile it will sometimes make student confused and the board exam people will may ask. So when I am talking about one mile, so one mile is, is equal to, as I told you earlier, one mile is equal to 100, 1690. So 1609 meters should be covered and the time will be recorded. And repeating again, the test should be conducted on the non windy day. Before starting of the walking, one should take the weight, and the weight should always be in pounds. When the starting point is to see, you know, the, when the individual has to start and they have to run or walk, how much? They have to run or walk for one mile. As you all know, that how much one mile is exactly? So, this one mile is equal to 1699 meters. So, the individual. With the help of this stopwatch, we will calculate or we will record the time that in how much time he or she had done this task, right? So it's very very important to record the time without because then it's very important we have a helper with us so that we can measure this aerobic cardiovascular or cardiorespiratory endurance. Immediately after the run is finished, right? So we need to check it manually or we need to measure what the heart rate. Heart rate per minute, right? So it is now. I hope you all have uh, you have cleared it. First thing that we need to think about is to uh, it should be a non-windy day. 
second thing is before you start walk, it is very very important that the weight of an individual could be measured. As in when the weight is measured, so after that what will happen? As in when this weight is measured, so this weight should be in pounds, right? When this weight is in pounds, so uh, the next thing that we needed to keep in mind is uh, when they start, so they'll have to go for run or for walk, it means as fast as possible. So they'll have to cover one mile. And this one mile is again I'm telling you is equal to 1609 meter. So individual may know the track uh, 2 and 4 to cover the comparable distance. With the help of a stopwatch, they record the time. So immediately when this is over, what will over? Immediately when the run is over, we will check it manually or we can check the heart rate of an individual. And then we will be going to give a formula. And this formula has to be used to calculate the maximum volume of day. Okay everyone, I am again going to tell you the procedure once again. So you please mark my words. Okay. Very first point, what we need to do? So first thing is to choose a non-windy day or a windless day. Okay. So let's say I, we have chosen a windless day for the conducting the test. Record your weight in pounds. Right. So first before we start to uh, starting this test, we need to record the weight of an individual in pounds. It is compulsory that the weight should be in pounds, otherwise it will not be considered. Walk on run for one mile. So we needed to walk or we needed to run one mile, one mile which is equal to 1609 meter as fast as possible. As you all know, that's why I told you in the earlier that what is the speed? The speed is the ability to run as fast as possible. Or speed is the ability to perform movement as fast as possible. In the same way, in this you will have to walk. Either you can run as fast as possible. Record the time to complete the one mile walk. So we need to record the time so that the helper can help us out and with the help of the stopwatch. We can uh, measure or we can record the timing which is covered by this individual or a participant. Immediately on finishing the walk or record or measure the heart rate. So we need to measure the heart rate immediately when it is over, right? So as in when it over, we need to measure it. Next thing is, uh, okay, so the next thing is, uh, yeah, determine the maximum cardiorespiratory ability. Now how we will measure the cardiorespiratory ability? As you can see here in board, we have, we have written something there, right? Can you see that? Alright. So, how, what is the formula and how will we calculate? Exactly, right? So, the VO2 max, that is the volume maximum amount of oxygen inhaled during the exercise. So, these are some constants like 100, 32.8, 853, right? And then you need to minus it with the constant 0 0.0769 multiplied by the weight. The weight should be in pounds. Minus 0 0.3877 multiplied by the weight. Then again we have to multiply 0 0.315 multiplied by the weight. And the weight we have to go for that. We have to go for that. 3.26649. Again we have to multiply the time. Time should be in seconds. And this constant. So this is the formula which tells us that how to measure or how to calculate the maximum amount of oxygen inhaled. Right? I hope you understand this uh, formula. Now see by writing this formula so the weight should be in pounds. Very very important thing to note here is the weight should be in pounds. Next thing is gender male it means that the, the numbering that we will put is 1. And female, the number will be put it zero because you may have a confusion here that like what we will write on gender. This number multiplied by gender it means what? So if it is male, you will multiply one. If it is female, you will multiply zero. Got at this point? I hope you must have understood this point. What I am going to say exactly. Okay. So uh, it was just time that I was telling you that uh, if it is time, so time should be in seconds. As I already told you, that time always should be in seconds. Heart rate must be in beats per minute and age should be in year. Okay. 
it should not be uh, you know like in letters it should be in year so it's okay i think you understood this that is a way about the gender about time now see what is the parameter and how will you calculate the fitness index right so to calculate the fitness index you must know the duration of exercise right so let's say the duration of exercise is 3 minutes so 3 minutes it means you have to convert it into seconds right next thing is and you will have to multiply it with the 100 this is the formula for the fitness index right the fitness index is duration of exercise in seconds multiplied by 100 divided by 5.5 what is the first one after multiplied by the first one you will have to you know this 1.5 multiply 1.5 minutes of the x <coughs> that is the exercise i hope this clear so let's recapitulate what we had started so we had started a session with five fitness physical components we had started first about what is physical fitness so what is physical fitness physical fitness is the ability of an individual to do work if uh, you know uh, extensive even after like extensive workout he or she has the ability to do more work that is the physical fitness if we talk about wellness wellness is the balance of mind and body third thing if we want to talk about is healthy lifestyle it means the way we live our life it should be healthy like non or no pollution it is good food and etc balance right then we have started to talk about components of physical fitness first is strength ability to overcome resistance second is endurance ability to overcome fatigue third is flexibility ability of our joints to move the maximum range fourth is uh, our for this um, for speed and that is the ability to perform movement as fast as possible and last is coordinated ability that is this ability of our joints to move or ability of our body to perform movement with the perfection and efficiency why are talking all these things just because to know what is endurance and why we are going to measure this cardio or that is the cardio muscular endurance or our proper performance basically this not for taking your long to test what is in uh, and it is also part of one mile test it is given by two people who do those who are selected for the self health cardio office so in line and comparing we have done this and this is a general test to measure the overall fitness level of people this is a very good fitness what does it evaluate it evaluate the aerobic fitness and basically basically what does it measure it measures the pure food maximum amount of oxygen utilized during the the equipments we need to keep in mind the first equipment is helper second equipment is wanted of our meter well level to ground third is a stopwatch right next thing that we need to keep in our mind is how to perform this first the individual will come and we need to do uh, conduct the day of uh, the stairs on our non weight day second there will be the measurement of the weight and when this measurement of weight is there so their weight should be in pounds now we'll have to start the test with the individual right this individual will have to start the test and you have to cover the distance and what is the distance the distance is 1 mile which is equal to 1600 meters when this thing happen what we we'll have to do we'll take it either run they have to walk and they have to complete it as fast as possible next thing uh, which is the very important thing to note is we need to measure the timing of this exercise and this time it should be we can convert it into seconds immediately after the run is over we need to check the heartbeat what will measure we will measure the heartbeat and there's the formula as you can see that the volume of uh, max oxygen so here as you can see on the board right i hope you can see this formula on the board so if we have got this formula we can calculate the we are get it uh, 1 3 2 Here, yeah, this constant comes to the right. I mean, right should be weight, like weight should be in pounds. Uh, then age should be in years. Gender for male will have to use one, female will have to use zero, and time should be seconds. Another formula for measuring the fitness index is duration of exercise in seconds, one by two hundred. Upon five point five is the first round, which is from one to one point five minutes after the. So after exercise, you have after one to one point five minutes, you have to take this. So I hope this all part is clear to you. It is again a three marks question of our board exam, right?
It's a three marks question of a board exam and you must go through it properly and I hope you understand this. Again telling you the weight should be in pounds, the age should be in years. The third thing that is for male you have to use one, for female you have to use zero. The formula of this physical fitness you should keep in mind the duration of exercise in second. Then you will have to multiply it by 100. Then you will have to divide and again the third point 5 you will have to multiply by the first count. When you are going to take the first count, after 1 to 1.5 minute of any exercise you will have to take this. Again the very important thing to note here is 1 mile is equal to 1609 meter. It is given by the physiologist and cardiologist. The year was 1987. It is a question previous year. What does it evaluate? So it evaluates aerobic fitness. Three equipment is basically required here. This helper, well leveled ground and stopwatch. So I hope you all have understood this topic that is the rock pot blocking test. Okay. So with this lot of love and blessings to everyone. Take care. We'll meet soon.